Howdy ho everyone, I am Nathan Blake and welcome to Alone in the Dark. Not to be confused with the popular Sega series, well I don't know if you can really call Alone in the Dark a popular series, but anyway, not to be confused with the Sega series Alone in the Dark, or at least I don't think so. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and dive right in here. This is an indie horror game I found on Nichio. Uh, put on your headphones for a real experience! What, what kind of real experience are we looking for, man? Like... Like you're saying that if I didn't put on my headphones, this whole thing would be a hallucination? Okay. Find flashlight in bedroom. Oh, there it is. Well, that was easy enough for now. And there's a key. I want that key. So this game is in alpha. It even actually said something about the... Not all the jump scares are available or something in the alpha, so I don't know if that means that... There's just not actually any scary things in the game, or... Well, except for that. Looks like you spilled some spaghetti sauce underneath here. That's gross. That's gross. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I found my laptop, because... Hey, do. Yes. I, I, I understand. Thank you. Thank you for being here, ghostly... Ghostly... Vo Why? Who has a picture like that on their wall? Who has pictures like any of these on their wall? What is wrong with these people? Also, this flashlight is fun because you actually can't see anything if you're close to it. Because it's, it's so bright. Whatever you're pointing at is just completely washed out. It's a good microwave right there. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounded, was that just the game developer? Did, did he just turn his microphone on and say hello? <laughs> oh, hey, look, blood on the wall. Well, that's good. Okay. We're really getting into... Stop slurping soup in my ears! Stop it, that's gross! Find the keys. Find the keys. Okay. Well, so far, this is actually a pretty legitimate horror game. Pretty creepy. That's a fire hazard. A legitimate fire hazard. It's not even sitting on anything. It's not got a... It's, it's not on a candle holder. It's not on a saucer. It's got nothing. Oh! Oh, good! I am glad that there has been a sacrificial altar made in my bedroom. That's real good. You know, oh, I just remembered that I already... Same to you, buddy. I just realized I already know where the key is. There's no reason for me to wander around. And... Is that an arrow pointing in here? Or what? I, I have found the key. The key is here, and I hath found it. I, on the other hand, cannot pick it up. So, is that a glitch? Or mayhaps it is part of the game? Well, I've kind of searched all the rooms in the house... found the key, but the... I have telekinesis! I can open doors from at least six feet away! <laughs> but I can't pick up keys. Keys that I can clearly see is a very square bed. It seems like a very uncomfortable mattress. In fact, I'm not even certain that it's a real mattress. It could just be a box. It's pretty out there. I want to be out there. Let me out. <clears throat> Maybe the key is actually somewhere else. Maybe that's a fake key. Meant to throw me off the trail. I, I don't know. It's not really the the vibe I'm picking up right now. 
so I ran into some invisible force here that wouldn't let me walk towards the wall for a minute there. Oh, have I tried in here? Oh, I've not been... Oh, I'm watching you. Well, that's creepy. Wait, is it you? You're watching me? Oh, well, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Nope. No. No. Nope. I don't like it. I don't like the, the children laughing and the creeping noises. He's bad. He's bad. Well, we found a whole other room that we hadn't been in before, which is nice, but still can't access the key. So, I'm kind of afraid that this is in such early alpha that perhaps that part of the game straight up doesn't work. So, we're probably just going to have to call it here, and then maybe maybe uh, I'm going to post the video on, on the Ichio page of the guy who made the game, and uh, or girl. You know, I, I, I don't know for sure. Um, and they can tell us uh, what we did wrong or if it was some sort of bug. So anyway, thanks for being here and enjoying this mildly creepy adventure with me. And it, it has some real promise. Like, I, I like what's here. The sound direction's very good. Uh, you know, atmosphere is good and creepy. Uh, you know, it's an alpha, so I... I don't expect much really so the amount of polish that it does have is good and i imagine it will get much more polished as time goes on so anyway thank you so much for being here and going on this adventure with me and uh as i generally say sayonara this has been alone in the dark thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it in the future please like and comment below if you're new to the channel and you would like to be notified of new videos consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell like my channel Want to see it grow? Share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again, everyone. Sayonara.